all right guys hello um i'm here trying to see how um, newcastle can beat man city and um i'm not very familiar with newcastle so you would forgive me for the changes i might make or the selections i might have um but from what i can see with the newcastle defense i won't change anything i've just moved this guy um j the center back j Lascelles. i don't know how whether that's how they pronounce the name but i just moved him slightly forward now looking at newcastle formation this is the default formation um the manager might change it for this match but i think with this i can understand why this could also be used against city because well city attacks with everybody and um they need to go in at least win a shot of their defense i can understand why i can understand the resources at, at their disposal and probably the mentality of the players but at the same time i move this guy a bit forward because i think there needs to be a sort of proper communication among the people from the midfield to the back because they all can't just get clogged up like that and um he would at least be one of the first people who city's attackers would meet before they're able to face the defense so he's able to protect the back to as well as do his proper job and i think spacing them out a bit would also help in the proper communication at the end of the day despite talent it's proper communication that's going to be able to enable a team function effectively and from the way i've done it they're not there's not so much space between the people playing in Newcastle's half so um, I think we would be able to restrict City's movement because I know City is quite fluid but I think allowing close spaces among these people would be able to restrict uh, City a bit and the other thing I'm thinking of is I hope Rondon here is quite lethal because I don't see so many chances being created there's a space in the midfield I um, mean the attacking midfield area and um, they would actually need these two guys at the midfield to be able to relay the ball from the back to the front via um, Shane Long and um, okay sorry not Shane Long S Longstaff and Isaac Hayden and so I hope these midfielders these right and left midfielders are quite fast because that's the only way uh, you'd be able to exploit the spaces between um, City's midfield in between um, um, beside Gundogan and Kevin De Bruyne. Of course, this is a default on paper and City is very fluid, but still I believe that if they're able to draw out City and act on, the, act on the counter, they might just be able to hold their own as well as having a proper communication against um, among their defenders. So let's see how it goes. Well, hello and good evening to all of you. Unfortunately, it appears that the weather hasn't quite read the script here. There has been a dreadful downpour from well before the moment the turnstiles opened, and there is considerable concern on the faces of the officials. We think it's going to be OK. Clearly, the pitch will be slippery. It'll be a challenge for those who have to officiate, never mind those who have to play. They know they are not going to be in for an easy game. But the crowd is all in, and the match, I'm delighted to be able to say, will go ahead. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such so, an important yeah, game. It's quite fast. Then. And the finish! Wow. And he's done it! And some of the best managers I've played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal. So um, hopefully Rondon is as little as this. I mean, this is not the hardest mode in the first half of the I didn't expect it. Yeah, Again, you see what I was talking saying about of, uh, experiencing City's spaces. As much as City is very effective, 
I don't think it's broken. It's one nil. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Where the openings are. So of course. Um, oh, and it's Sane at the back. Played in by Sane. And he's there to cut it out. Perez. The thing is, City have really fast wingers and wing backs, and so you really have to be careful. Raise the eyebrow. One nil to the underdogs. Sane. You really have to be careful going forward the left -hand side. because, in as much as Gundogan you might be able to fight on the wings, Aguero plays it out to the wing. Yeah. A little mistake would undermine all your efforts Richie. because it's not only the wingers you're scared of, it's, it's the wing backs Hatsu. getting forward. Hayden back into the middle. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1 0. And you can see how they are quickly now closing Perez. up the spaces. Um, City. Hayden. And so I have to Coming keep up to half passing time, the ball to leading, and maintain possession. Yeah, and I've lost it. I don't Guerrero. know Newcastle to be a possession based team. Perez. And you can't play possessive football against City. It just Hayden. won't work. Perez. But this is a problem I was Real speaking chance. about. There isn't that much space to create chances because Played there's out to the no right. body in the attacking midfield for City. Now it's Christian Atsu. And he's That's straight right. offside. is done so well I mean it's not possible to have this kind of possession in City because I'm the one playing but well that certainly pleased the fans and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline the question is now can they protect it it's possible that one nil at the break Newcastle will be able to hold their own I expect well silver has come in so I'm expecting a solitary goal. That has been the I'm crucial difference. More obvious attack from City. Now it's Aguero. Now it's Aguero. But then I'm also looking to use it to distract them into drawing City out. Well, he's certainly caught him there. It's a free kick. Oh man. Come on. Right. So hopefully you don't score. De Bruyne! Oh, it is a fantastic goal! Okay. Oh, it really is a finish of the highest order! And the second half is Hopefully that doesn't happen. Flyer. And he's produced a beauty. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, look, Peter, who knows what's about to happen from here. Uh, I doubt this will be the final score, though. Richie, Hatsu, and it's Richie. Surely a shot. Has a hit. Man. Big relief. It just needed better contact. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks the harder thing to do. come loose and the chase is on Danilo now it's Sané that looks a good shoot it didn't come off but an audacious effort oh that's fantastic improvisation he showed there adjusted himself very quickly but well, it's rare that they come off they haven't been running to well, my defence we don't defense. need to guess that 
they expect plenty of, of ball into the box. Yeah, it's quite a crowd scene in the middle now. But well, been it's a situation that requires resilience now and, and plenty of fighting reasons. spirit. It has Come to be on. Oh my god. Sends it forward with interest. Also, well, I mean, you have to judge the instinct of the players the as well. Those guys are not speaking, reading the game. Brings it forward. If we're going to get a winner, it's got to come now. Rondon. He's through now. Goes for goal. Yeah. Kyle Walker. And it's Sterling. Aguero. And you can see Look, the walk This can off. still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Hayden. Shots on. Going for goal. They are right into last chance territory. And the shot. Man. De Bruyne. And there goes the final whistle. Okay. So nothing between them after all of that. And you can't really argue well, with the result. Neither manager too unhappy with the outcome. You can't really argue with the, the result as commentator really said. Entertained. It's all but square in the end. Well, what are your thoughts you on could see game that there was no goal from well, that was an exercise and um, if cohesion Newcastle and is Peter, a refusal able to, to accept defeat. Not concede the penalty. That's where we have to end it. From me, Peter Drury, you know, and my co-commentator Jim Beglin. A very good I believe they're able to do that. At least you could see some clear chances, which of course the city defenders are obviously very good. So there's no um, excuse for that. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.